Hi, this is Kathy B. I wanted to tell you about a new program that I've produced that I think you'll be interested in. If you have a dream, and by dream I mean product, program, or project that you want to grow, you just don't see it getting anywhere. Well, I can help you out with that. I help people take their dream, project, program, or product and get it TV ready. I can help you, too. It's a well-known fact that when people appear on TV shows such as Shark Tank, Oprah, or QVC, that they become instant celebrities, their income increases, and so does their notoriety. Some of these shows have transformed ordinary people into multi-millionaires. They're also considered superstars. In fact, they become experts in their fields. And when you become an expert, you have an opportunity to appear on multiple shows. When we think about superstars, what comes to mind? They have the bigger houses, the cars, the money. They have an opportunity for all their bills to be paid. They have the residual money that comes in and replenishes the money they have. That's that financial freedom, that independence to go wherever they want, vacation in the nicest places. And when you think about that, isn't that something that you would want? Isn't that something that you would like for your kids to have? They also have the golden opportunity to give back to help others. Now all the superstar dreamers that I know have one thing in common. They have a dream that they were so passionate about, that they believed in so much that they wouldn't let anything stop them from making their dream come true and taking it to its highest level. But everyone who gets on TV does not become a superstar. Do you want to know why? They aren't TV ready. And that is what this webinar is about, to help you get TV ready and to learn more about your dream and if you're passionate about your dream and how to get your dream out there and monetize your dream. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, who is Kathy B and how can she help me? I'm a dream maker. Not the fairy godmother type that has the magic wand and says bibbidi bobbidi boo your dreams come true. No, I've helped dreamers who've had a product, project, or program become highly successful. Some of my clients include individuals and companies who needed immediate high-profile multimedia exposure, and I was able to get them that publicity in print, on the web, on the radio and even on TV. This was something that helped them to launch their dreams, increase their revenue, and become more popular, increase their notoriety. I started out as a singer-songwriter in a little town called Bloomingburg, Ohio. You see, I had a big dream then. I was going to be famous. And even though I had no connections, I let this dream take me where it needed to take me. And by the time I was 25, all of my dreams, my aspirations had come true. I was on TV. I was in concert singing. I opened for major acts. I wrote my songs. I was on the radio. What happened next was my dream became bigger because I moved to Southern California. And my husband and I had our first child. At 25, I knew I had to make a change. So I had to get smarter, go back to school, reinvent myself. What did I really want to do? Why well, I had help. Remember when I was telling you how you're going to need people to help you? There was a lady who helped me, and she wrote a poem called Footprints in the Sand. She helped me to realize there was more than just a singer-songwriter here. There was a person that could help her become famous. And I did that through a promise that I made to her. I told her that I would help her become known when she was author unknown. Through that process, I took courses on how to produce TV shows. I took courses on internet, how to make websites. 
and this strengthened my tools. I already had that determination, but through this Footprints project, now we had to get on QVC, now we had to get on TV, now we had to get in the newspapers. There's th the dream became bigger, helping others. And then the really neat thing was I produced 250 shows called Touching Lives in Southern California, a show about people helping people. We had award shows. And I thought, oh my goodness, this is wonderful. So many people. Dreams came true. Corporate people were able to put their projects together and make multi-million dollar projects. I became the chair of a hospital and was able to help them to get the exposure that they needed. And that's not the most exciting part. Now I have a new TV show called Do the Dream TV where I can help you. So that's why I'm doing this webinar. There are four webinars. The first one, this one is about your dream and making it dynamic and radiant. The second one is about excitement and how you can interact with others and get others excited about your dream so that you can get people to help you with your dream. The third one is about amplifying your dream to get the word out about who you are and what you do. And the fourth one is to monetize the dream. So how you can get paid while you're doing what you enjoy and love. So you can continue to do your dream. Now all of these lead up to you getting your dream on TV. I'll also give you tips and show you how to do that. To take your dream, make it bigger, so other people will want to help you with your dream, so that you become the expert, so that you can be on TV. Plus, you can also appear on my new TV show called Do The Dream TV. It's at dothedreamtv.com, where I incorporate everything you need as a dreamer and turn you into a dream maker. People helping people. And after each webinar, there's a free gift for you, just at the bottom of the page. So the free gift that we have for this webinar is your dream mapping tool. So go ahead and download this dream mapping tool, fill it out, you can pause the webinar, and then we're going to go over your results. Go ahead and do that right now. Now that you have your sheets in hand, you can read along with me. What is dream mapping? Most people are familiar with the process of using a mind map where you have a core idea in the center and then your ideas spring out from the core idea. Now dream mapping is opposite. You're given a series of questions to answer and after great thought and evaluation of your answers, you'll be able to better recognize your dream. The seven steps below and the dream mapping chart are designed to get you started to uncover or rediscover your dream. Once you've completed these steps, then you can count up your score and evaluate where you are on the dream mapping chart. This also gives you a way where if you lack in certain areas, where you can beef them up, you can get stronger and then get to that higher score. If you didn't download, I'm going to read the questions to you right now. So you can take out pen and paper and you can start dream mapping. You ready? First question. What do you like to do? What are your hobbies? When you were a kid, what did you want to be? Who or what has stopped you from living your dream? What is your specialty? Name at least three things that you excel at. What are your dislikes? Who do you admire?
Who would you want on your dream team? You can pause this and you can answer this. Pause at any time if you see I'm going too fast so that you can really think about these questions and fully answer the questions. Once you're finished, then we'll go to the next page and we'll give you the directions on what to do with your answers. Evaluate your dream. In each block, after each question, write down the number that best represents how passionate you were, you feel, about each answer on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest. Add up your score, then total your score. This total will give you some idea of where you are. Now, if your total is between 80 and 70, then you are extremely passionate about your dream. You have what it takes, the desire, the heart, to give your dream your very best. You recognize what has stopped you, your skills and your shortfalls. You also know who you admire and who you want to be on your dream team. You need the method and the tools to activate and monetize your dream. Now from 69 to 50, if that's your score, you are somewhat passionate about your dream but need help understanding your dream and the opportunities that your dream affords you. You lack the direction, team, and some additional skills that you need so that your dream can come true. You also lack inspiration, focus, and dedication. Although you have great potential, you need to learn how to nurture your dream and grow your dream team. If your score is between 49 and 30, you have an idea of what you would like but lack total confidence and direction on how to obtain your dream. You let others influence you, which stops you from achieving what's in your heart. You also lack the inspiration and motivation it takes to see your ultimate dream come true. If your score is between 29 and 10, you spend time talking about what you want to do someday. But you have no idea what you are really good at. That means your gift or your dream. You spend most of your time in the past or dreaming about what it would be like someday if you won the lottery or someone gave you lots of money. You easily let others sway you and oftentimes blame them for your failures. There's hope for you. Need to choose to change your pattern, change your life. This will change your world. You need to plug into your dreams. This dream mapping tool helps you to become more clear about your dream. So work on your dream and then join me in the second webinar where we're going to be talking about making your dream exciting. When your dream is exciting, other people will want to help you. They want to join in and be a part of what you're doing. So this next webinar helps you to compile your dream team. We also work on your free gift, and we have a free gift for you. See you on the next webinar.